If you're using hacking tools like Kali Linux and you're not doing anything to hide yourself, it's kind of dangerous. Like you could get into trouble. You need to learn, learn, learn hacking. hacking. Proxies and proxy chains. That's how you hide yourself. In this video, I'm gonna show you how they work and how to set them up in Kali Linux. I also have a crazy challenge at the end, a hacking challenge, using the knowledge you're gonna learn in this video. If you're up for it, the first five people to complete this challenge will win a six month membership to This Is IT and a bag of Network Chuck coffee. And also a huge shout out to IT Pro TV. They're sponsoring this part of my journey. I use them to learn about proxy chains and everything else hacking I've learned so far. So if you wanna check them out, if you wanna learn hacking, CCNA, A+, whatever, link below, use code Network Chuck, 25% off forever. So you're ready. You're ready to hack. You fire up Kali Linux. You've got your tools ready. You're ready to hack somebody. Let's do it. You've got your target, David Bomble. We're gonna use Nmap to find out more information about his stuff. We'll even be stealthy about it with the dash SS command. And boom, we're hacking. And look at that, I got some recon on David Bomble. Do you know what you just did? You may have learned a few things about David, but he also learned a few things about you. All this scanning that you just used to find out about David, his system flagged it. His firewall saw what you were doing, it blocked you. And even worse, he knows it was you. Because every scan you send has a from address. A nice little note that says, hey, it was me, I'm doing it, I'm hacking. That's your IP address. And David, now that he knows your public IP address, can report you and you go to jail. But Chuck, I had a mask on. Doesn't matter. If you don't do something to hide the fact that all of these messages, all these attacks are coming from you, you're in trouble, or at least are very close to being in trouble. Now, before I show you how to hide yourself, let me tell you this. I'm speaking strictly in the context of ethical hacking. Having a business's explicit permission to do this. Anything else, don't do it. There are a few ways to hide yourself, but I wanna focus on proxies, and more specifically, proxy chaining. How does that work? With the proxy, instead of sending all of our attacks directly to David from us, telling David exactly who's doing it, hey, it's me, we'll use a middleman, a go-between. A proxy. We'll call these proxy servers. So now when we attack David, we'll send our attacks through the proxy server. And if David does happen to catch on and see the attack, and he goes, hey, who's attacking me? He'll see the IP address of the proxy server. And not us. Now we have to be careful here, because what could happen is David would tell the police, hey, someone's attacking me. And the police see the IP address of the proxy server and go, yeah, that's a proxy server. We're going to contact them and find out who attacked you. And the proxy server will have logs. Logs that could tell them that, hey, it was actually this guy over here, you, <laughs> that used the proxy server to attack David and then you're busted. So what do we do? Well, um, let's use some more proxy servers. How about that? Instead of sending our attacks through just one proxy, we'll send it through multiple proxies. Send it to this guy, then hop to this guy, then hop to this guy, and then finally, we're attacking David. This is what's called proxy chaining. We're chaining together multiple proxy servers to hide ourselves. So if David did tattle on us and tell the police, the odds of them going through each of these servers and going through their logs and finding us through all this mess, pretty slim chance. Now, not impossible. This is not a foolproof situation where you'll never be discovered. No solution is. But it does make it crazy difficult. So uh, how do we do it? Let's do it right now. We're going to use an app called Proxy Chains, which if using Kali should be pre-installed. All we have to do is configure it. So first we gotta locate the configuration file. So here at the command line, I'll do locate and I'll type in proxy chains. Hit that, and the first option up there should be where your stuff is. Yep, right there. Etsy forward slash proxy chains dot conf. The reason we use this command is yours could be in a different spot. This will help you find it. And this is the file we're going to edit. So I'm gonna jump in there. I'll do sudo, and I'll use vim as my editor. So I'll hit vi, and then I'll put my path in. Etsy proxy chains dot conf. Now there are three main modes we can run this in, and one we're gonna ignore, dynamic, strict, and random. We're not gonna do strict, so we're actually gonna end up commenting that out with a hashtag. With dynamic, we'll put our list of proxies in. We can have a lot, let's say we have four. Dynamic will go through each proxy in our list and chain them together and use it in the order we put them in, every single time. Unless one of them is out of commission, not responding, not usable, it'll just skip it. With random, it's, um, it's random. <laughs> Same deal, let's say we have a list of four proxies. It will randomly choose one proxy to use, which is fine in a lot of cases because it keeps your targets guessing, like, oh, where's he coming from? Where's he coming from? All these different IP addresses. But personally, I like dynamic because we put a lot of proxies in between us and the target, making it harder to find us. So to make that magic happen, I'll put my cursor there. I'll hit I for insert, 
and I'll remove that hashtag, which makes that configuration active. And we want to comment out or put a hashtag in front of strict chain, disabling that option. So we got our mode. We're not done yet. Let's keep going. We're going to scroll down. Now here's an option we're not going to touch, but it's good. We have it enabled by default proxy DNS. If we were to comment the setting out and not use it, our DNS request would still be coming from us. So when we try to discover what IP address davidbomble.com has, that particular request would come from our IP address. Let's just say 10.1.0.4. And that could be a way that people find out we're the hacker. So best case is you want to proxy everything, even your DNS request through your proxy. That way no one can find you. Now, as we scroll down, the only thing we have to look at now is our list of proxy servers. And here's the format right here. We have the type, the server IP address, and the port we're going to use. And if it has authentication, you'll put the username password right here. Now you might be wondering what's with the different types? What's the difference? We're not gonna cover that right now. It's a whole other video. Just know that SOX 5 is better than SOX 4, as you might assume. And in addition to HTTP, we also have HTTPS. So all you have to know right now is these types will help you proxy your connections, help you to hide yourself. Some are more secure, like HTTPS or SOX 5. So let's move on past the example and start adding our list. Now, by default, we already have something here. This proxy server is pointing to 127001, which is our loopback address, which is pointing to us. This default config is actually going to be using what's called Tor or the Onion Router. We would have to have this service enabled on our Kali Linux box here. We're not going to mess with Tor right now. Just know it's your gateway to the dark web and there's a lot of proxies involved. So we're going to skip that for now. So I'll put a hashtag in front of that to comment that out. And I'm going to put my first server in. The type of this proxy will be SOX4. And then I'll put a space between that and the host IP address. And then a space and the port. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to hit escape colon WQ to write and quit. Done. So now how do we use it? Watch this. I'll use a command proxy chains. This is what you'll do whenever you want to use your proxies. You'll put this command right before your other commands. So let's try out, um, let's try out Firefox. I want to verify this is actually working first. So I'll go out to google.com and let's do it. And we're there. Now real quick, let's go back to the command prompt and see what crazy stuff happened. And it's still happening. We can see here that first we have our DNS request to find out, hey, where's google.com? And we are indeed proxying it through that proxy I configured. And once it learned the IP address of Google, it proxied our connection to Google through, well, the proxy. Now let's go see where we are. Let me get back to our browser. I want to type in first, what's my IP address? So great. The public IP address does match up to the proxy I was using. If I type in where am I, it's going to tell me where I am. And this doesn't tell us much, but I can tell you right now that I am in Thailand. So good luck finding me. So I'm sending all of my commands through a proxy server in Thailand, which is kind of crazy, but also kind of cool. Like, let's try one real quick. Let's go back and hack David. David will never find me in Thailand. So once more, I'll start with proxy chains. And I'll use the nmap command this time. I'm going to use a TCP connect scan. And I'll search for ports uh, 80 and 443 on David Bommel's website. And I'll use the IP address this time. And let's see what happens. Now, how cool is this? Every single command went through the proxy. It went through Thailand to discover if these ports respond. So as I'm pen testing David's site, as I'm doing vulnerability scans and such, he doesn't know it's me. He thinks it's some person in Thailand. And I get my info. Now, this is just one proxy. Let's add one more to the list. I'm going to hit I to start editing. And just below my first server, I'll put my second server here. This one will be HTTP. And then I'll put a space and the IP address. And then the port number, space 8888. Escape, colon, WQ. And we're ready to rock. Let's make sure it works first. I'll do proxy chains. Firefox, google.com. And okay, looks like it may have worked. Let's do what's my IP. Uh, and there we go. Look at that. Let's take a look at our command prompt. Here's the chain right here. How crazy is this? We first have our Thailand chain. And this is actually a server on AWS that I set up, a proxy I set up. And then we're finally to Google. Isn't that amazing? I, I, I love that. Let's see how it looks when we use nmap. So I'll do proxy chains nmap dash st for a TCP connect dash P and I'll put ports 80 and 443 and then David Bomble's IP address. Boom. <laughs> how cool is it? Look at, look at this. It's going through the chain and checking, but how insane is this? It's going from me to Thailand to AWS, which I don't know where that is specifically to David. How's he ever going to find me? <laughs> and if I keep adding more proxies, I'm hidden, man. I'm, I'm gone. Now I'm sure you're wondering where do I find these proxies? I want to try this out. Where do I get these Thailand servers? Just Google them, really. Watch this. I'll fire up Firefox, go to Google, and just type in free proxy server list. And if you scroll down, uh, one good site is spies.1. Now, I'll tell you this. Not all proxies are created equal or will work. <laughs> so you, you might have to go through a few and test them. But that's how you would find them. Just Googling and trying them out. All right. Are you ready for the challenge? Check this out. So this is the proxy chain challenge. Here's what you have to do. 
First, you will need Kali Linux to run this. You'll do exactly what we demoed in the video today. And the challenge here is that you have to use all three of these proxies to get to this web server right here. And this is another use of proxies. You can use them to hide yourself. You can also use them to gain access into other networks, which is what's happening here. Now you must use all three proxies in this order in your configuration file. Why? Well, because you can't access this proxy directly right here. You can only access it from this IP address. You can't access this proxy directly. You can only access it from this IP address. So once you have your proxy set up and you have all your traffic going through these proxies, you'll get to here where you have to find this web server. This web server has a private IP address in this range right here. The only way you can access these private IP addresses is by going through all three of these proxies. You'll need to scan this subnet using Nmap to find the right host that has port 80 open. Once you've identified which host has port 80 open, then you'll need to access the website. And of course, you'll have to access it via the proxy chain. It's a private IP address that's only accessible through the entire chain. And on that website, you'll have further instructions. Now a hint on the Nmap stuff right here. None of the hosts in this group will respond to a ping. And you may recall from the Nmap video that Nmap will initially send a ping to make sure the hosts are up before attempting to see which ports are open. So you'll need to make sure that Nmap isn't going to ping and do that check. To avoid that, we'll use the switch uppercase P, lowercase N. This will avoid the ping, the initial ping to see if the host is up and just go for the TCP connect. And that's what I would do. I would use the TCP connect dash S T, lowercase S capital T. And of course you gotta use your proxy chains, otherwise you'll get nothing. Okay, to sum this up real quick, you're gonna configure the proxy chains I just showed you in your proxy chains file in Kali Linux. You'll then use Nmap and proxy chains to scan the private IP address range of 172.31.172.32 slash 29. And you're looking for the active web server that has port 80 open. Once you identify which host that is, access that website through proxy chains. And on that website, you'll find the next step, the further instructions. Good luck, only five winners. Well guys, that's about it. Let me know what you think of this video. If you like the challenge, let me know if you complete the challenge below. Um, <laughs> I set this up in AWS and I hope it doesn't break. <laughs> it, was, it was fun to make though. Any comments or questions, let me know below. Again, huge shout out to IT Pro TV for sponsoring this part of my journey. I encourage you to check them out if you're looking for IT training. Okay, proxy chains, gotta keep yourself safe. I'll catch you guys later.